Hi, this is Kyle from Super Duper Publications. For over 23 years now, we've had the privilege of designing materials for you that are both useful, engaging to students, and fine-tuned to your specific needs. One of our most popular lines is the Fun Deck, which we now have over 100 of. Have you ever wondered what it takes to produce the materials that you use? Well, today we're going to go through the different departments of SuperDuper Publications and see the steps that it takes to go from the design to your own doorstep. It usually starts with Sharon or Thomas seeing a specific need for a product, like states and abbreviations, or changing nouns to adjectives. They'll sit down and create a concept for the product. The editors develop products along with our artists. As you know, we create a lot more than books and card decks here. We also create a variety of educational software, like the new Here Builder program. The editors are also responsible for answering your clinical questions, traveling around to various shows, giving product presentations, and writing our free weekly handy handouts. I'm here with Julie, one of our speech language pathologists. Julie, can you tell us about the editor's involvement in making a fun deck? Well, we're involved from start to finish, and what we'll do is everything from actually writing the content on the cards, the actual words that go on each card, to working with the individual artists who pick uh, the illustrations to put in the artwork that they might have drawn, or photos that they use. We'll do lots of editing and proofing as we go through the entire process and collaborate as a team just to kind of bounce ideas off one another. Uh, we put it through an approval process as well uh, with our supervising editor and some other people on the team. So, like I said, we'll do everything from writing to editing to proofing and actually playing the games in the fun decks just to make sure everything is okay and fun for the kids. And then we send it off to the printer. Thank you, Julie. I'm now in the art department where drawings and photos are created to bring our products to life. Once a project is approved, the artist will create the graphic content and design the packaging for the product. I'm here with Bruce, one of our artists. Bruce, do you mind telling us the steps involved in creating the artwork for one of our products? Okay, sure. Uh, first we get the assignment from the editors, those are the SLPs that write these books, or games, or whatever the project is, and they'll give us the text and a list of the illustrations that they need, and then we sketch them out. We you know, just usually do a, a pencil sketch, and then we'll ink them in, and I've got one here that I've done before. Um, this is the inking. And this is actually a series of three illustrations, but I put them all on one sheet and then I'll put them on the scanner here and scan it in and that gets the, the, the artwork into the computer. And once it's in the computer, then we will color it. And uh, here's the file as it looks all finished. The purchasing department works hard to find the right manufacturers for all of our products. They also make sure that those materials are safe and high quality. I'm here with Sean from the purchasing department. Sean, what do the purchasers do to make sure that our products are safe for children? Well, Kyle, here in the purchasing department at Super Duper, we strive to uh, find the best suppliers that we can find to produce Super Duper products. And we also keep up to date with all of the national guidelines uh, for product safety. Thank you. I'm now in the warehouse in the receiving department. This is where we receive products from our suppliers, unload them and inspect them for quality assurance, and then put them into our inventory. Some of our products require in-house assembly, and those go over to our kitting department. I'm here in the receiving department with David. We've just received a package in. David, can you tell us what you do with a package once it comes in? Well, the first thing we do, uh, we unload the product off the truck. I am, uh, then we do a visual inspection of the product to make sure none of the boxes are crushed or damaged in any way. And at that point, we will pull the purchase order out of the files and make sure that the count is correct. In other words, we make sure that we got the, the amount that we ordered. And we also make sure that it's the correct product uh, that we ordered. After that, uh, we know what to do with it. We either take it to Kitting or Prime Pick or we put it in long-term storage, which is located directly behind us. Thank you, David. Sure. 
Once our new fun deck is ready to go live, the photographer in our photo studio takes pictures of the new product, and the web department creates a new page for that item. The Webbies are responsible for developing and maintaining three websites, superduperinc.com, herebuilder.com, and handyhandouts.com. The web department is responsible for a lot of the back-end work that you don't see but is necessary for keeping the website up and running. In addition, the web department also maintains the free services that our website has, like the handy handouts, the online age calculator, and the online CEUs that we offer. I'm here with Rob, one of our web developers. Um, Rob, what is involved in the work that you do? The work that we do involves uh, making sure that the information that is on the website is current and helpful for customers and that the shopping experience that they have is a convenient one and a secure one. Thank you. You're welcome. Here we are in the customer help department. Our customer helpers answer your product questions, they take in your orders, and they make sure that you're happy with your purchase. They work closely with the displays and conventions department, which works to get our products out on the road for testing. I'm here with Joe from the Customer Help Department. Joe, can you tell us what your favorite thing about working in this department is? Well, I would say each day, uh, after, all the, after all the paperwork, after all the phone calls, uh, to, to be a part of the process uh, to get uh, our customers uh, products that they love, that we get the feedback for, we know they love them, uh, to help families, to help children uh, that, that really need our products, uh, that's, that's the most gratifying part. Thank you. I'm here with Carmen, the supervisor of the customer help department here. Carmen, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Kyle. You're welcome. A couple questions for you. Uh, we were curious how many countries that we deal with in our business. Uh, we currently sell products to over 70 countries around the globe. And what kind of products do we produce for the international customers? Uh, we also have a line of Spanish language materials and English Spanish uh, bilingual materials for our customers, uh, our Latino customers here in the U.S. and also in Latin America. We also uh, have a lot of materials that we send to uh, countries like Australia, uh, Canada, uh, the continent of Asia, uh, just to name a few. Thank you, Carmen. You're welcome, Kyle. When you send an order in, one of our customer helpers enters the order into our system and that order goes out to our processing department where they double check it to make sure that everything is accurate before we send it to our warehouse for shipping. Hey Dia, how are you? How are you? Great, thanks. Hey, do you mind telling us a little bit about the picking process here in the warehouse? Certainly. Um, the first thing we get is a pick ticket and this is generated for every purchase order. And this will tell us what aisle it's on, what bay it's on, what shelf it's on. Like uh, FD 137, right here. We all place it in the container, um, sign off on the sheet, and after that we set it off on the uh, conveyor there for the checkers to uh, verify it. Thank you. I'm in the shipping department where we go through the final steps of getting your product out to you. Each order that we receive goes through four different steps before it gets shipped out. You have a picker who grabs the product, a packer who puts the product into a box, a checker who verifies that everything is in there as it needs to be, and then finally a shipper who gets the product out. As they go through those steps on the paperwork, they will actually initial their names on a corner of a box. It ends up looking like this, and at the end of the stage, all four boxes have a signature next to them, uh, verifying that the, the product is ready to go out. So now you've seen all the steps that it takes to design a super duper product. The final step now is to get the products onto the truck and to send them out to your doorstep. Thank you for tuning in with us, and we hope you have a great day.